Hi guys, how are you? Great. Hi, Hi. good. Good. Um, so I saw a little bit of season four. I tr I'll try my best to avoid spoilers, but it's really, really good as always. Um, you. you do a show for this long. Do you tend to blend the characters with who you naturally are in real life? Like, is it hard to like separate now? I personally, sorry. No, you go for it. Yes, uh, I would say maybe like season one, season two. That was wow. That was. Um, I, saw that. I was yeah. so sorry. It was like, sure. But um, yeah, see, I have to think between season one and season two. You know, when I, I'm used to, you know, no, yeah, season one and season two. Once the show came out, you were kind of like, like the world start and found out who you were, found out who I was, and was like, okay, they they know me as Lucas. So when I'm on the street, people refer to me as Lucas, not Caleb. And then you kind of get like law, like people start making you feel like you're Lucas and you're like, you live in Hawkins. I'm like, wait, do I actually ride bikes every day and hang out with these guys? No, I don't. But, um, you know, as time goes on, you have to try to separate yourself from this, you know, actor, uh, celebrity, quote unquote world and try to find things that you like to do and, you know, try to have your own personal life. So I would say in the beginning, yes, you kind of get like lost there. Very am cool. I, and it, am, am I the only one that felt like that? Or no? Yeah. no, I agree. Yeah. I think when look, we've been doing it for so long up to this point that like, if anything for me, I think uh, playing Dustin just, uh, uh, it gets easier uh, as you start to, uh, it becomes a bit of second nature. You've been playing a certain character for so long that it feels free to make choices that uh, you don't necessarily need to think about all that much when you're going into it, because at this point, you can probably assume that your character would do so already because you've kind of, it's become this natural feeling, this natural ebb and flow, which is really, really, it's really great when working on the show, but when working on other projects, sometimes it's, it can be hard to be like, oh, word, yeah. I'm not on that one show that I do as a full-time job, so yeah. yeah. Um, I like, I know Elle's the one with superpowers and she's looked at as a superhero, but I think you guys are all like the super friends. So if you had to describe like what each of your characters' superpower is, what would it be? Word. I, I want to say, I want to figure this out first. Yeah. I want to take it a second. Mm. Ooh. I think, wait, as, as the character or like our characters? As, yeah, your character, yeah. Like okay. what superpower would they have or what they are? What, think? like their what, personality what they, trait that is their superpower. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Word. <laughs> I would say for Max, I really, you know, I think she is incredibly loyal at the core of everything and i think mm. she really was she's you know brave and willing to kind of do anything for her friends really for erica i do feel like everyone has a erica in their life someone who's <laughs> kind of like keeping the people's head on straight and trying to get down mm. so she's a problem solver um and kind of like me in sort of a way but she's a problem solver so and very guess, smart yeah and very smart so i guess she would be resourceful in a way problem -solving. absolutely yeah oh man the question was a superpower right? mm -hmm. like what what the do you think your superpowers superpower. after the friendship mm -hmm. superpower everyone's got one i think uh dustin's got got a lot of heart of course a lot of loyalty but um i don't know i'm trying to think uh, specifically i feel like uh He's not afraid to speak his mind mm -hmm. okay. in times in which people probably wouldn't necessarily like to hear certain things, honesty. which is really, really fun. Honesty. honesty. Yeah, honesty. Yeah. There you go. Thanks for articulating because I would have just gone down no, this rampage. So I'm so glad that I'm <laughs> just here and focused and centered now. That's honesty. So Absolutely. That's funny. I know what you're talking about. You'd say everything else, but like, but what you're, you're, like you're trying to figure you're out. Trying, you're, you're but you're hard, saying yeah. the actual meaning it of the word. It's like that's what you're trying to say. Honestly. Yeah. Yes, I am. Thank you, Sage. I think knowing Lucas from season one, his loyalty and like how much he believes in friendship, I think he'll be the one to uh, make sure everyone is together and make sure everyone is, you know, on the same page. Um, I think he's just really he really goes like the full like mile for his friends so uh, I think that's um, his power just kind of like you know being there be like loyalty I feel like everyone has like that same type of aspect in their character like loyalty um, and like Lucas is very he speaks his mind all the time mm -hmm. so 
yeah, he's not going to hold back. Well, congratulations on part four, you guys. Super thankful to yeah. chat with you. Have a good rest of your day. Hi, guys. How are you? OJ Williams with The Nocturnal. Good. How are you doing? Hi. 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 Uh, question for all of you. When you do a show for this long, is it hard to separate your character from who you are? Do the, or the two start to blend? Hmm. Yes and no. I no. I mean, there's. I think there are, uh, are elements of Murray in me. You know, I mean, that's the that's kind of the craft of acting is like bringing together. Uh, you know, what is on the page and what is in you. You know, and using what is in you uh, that is appropriate for the character. So, um, and then yeah. I I I find. I mean, I this is my first series. And it's been seven years. I mean, this last season was shot to over two years because of COVID. And um, so there's the, the making of it, which is, uh, you know, kind of this really strange but incredible experience with, you know, people that you can, you, I've grown so close to. I mean, I feel so maternal, I love those kids so much. Um, and, and everyone. And, um, but then there's the, uh, you, you know, all the time off waiting for it to come out. And so then it, it, it's, it, and the show has been so, such a phenomenon that, that it's, it's been, it can feel very overwhelming, but, but um, it's been absolutely great. It's changed certainly my life. I think it's changed everybody's life in terms of, um, you know, on a deeply personal level, but also, you know, open the door to other opportunities, you know, certainly for me there, before the show, there was, you know, not that much out there. And I just feel so lucky that I've got, that I got to, you know, that they picked me for this character that I've gotten to, you know, develop over the years. It's been, it's been life-changing. When I was uh, starting this show, I, I wanted my shrink to watch it, uh, and he, I was like, you know, I don't want to watch everything, but I was sometimes like, just do what I do, and he started watching it, and he said, I can't watch this because I feel like I'm gonna associate you with him too much, it's sort of too similar, and I think that my, even the trajectory of my life has uh, mirrored Hopper's trajectory. I'm not as cool as Hopper is. I'm not as like strong and capable and cool, but I, I have taken on like a family now. And he I think if you were in a these... situation, you would you definitely do well. like- I'd be all right. I'd be all right. I'd no, be all right. Okay, great. I will, I will, but like, I will say too, like, I think that's part of the Duffer's genius as writers is they really know how to write to yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And well, you well. know that thing that you used to hear when you were a kid about mothers like lifting cars off of their kid to save them like this super <laughs> superhuman like impossible strength like I remember hearing all of those stories and I feel like we've all like <laughs> yeah, the characters true. all have that in them yeah, you know well amazing guys congratulations on part four um, I know everyone's going to love it have a great day thank, thank you. you thank you so Thanks. much no problem